Hi, Otto here for Bavarian Auto Sport. In today's DIY video, we're going to be replacing the front windshield trim strips on a later model BMW. This applies to most BMWs from the mid to late 90s on. There are exceptions. You can check with us if your vehicle applies to this DIY video. We're going to be using the common E39 5 Series for our example. Now these trim strips, they dry up and they start to crack and they basically just look ugly. Additionally, they can allow water into the channel between the windshield and the body and promote rust in that area, which we certainly don't want. Now many owners are told when they go to a shop that the complete windshield must be removed to replace these pieces. This isn't the case. They do pull out and the new one fits in between the windshield and the body. We'll be showing you how to do this, and all we need for tools is our non-marring pry tools, and you should have some single-edge razor blades available to help clean up the windshield once the gasket piece is out. Let's go ahead and take a look at this, but first remember, all of the parts you see here are available in our online store at bavauto.com, or give our advisors a call at 800-535-2002 and they can help you with the setup and let you know if this applies to your vehicle as well. Now let's go ahead and see how easy this is. We'll be using various individual tools from the non-marring pry tool and chisel sets to remove and install the windshield trim. We'll start with this tool or one of the chisels. Run the tool along the windshield under the lip of the trim. Do the same thing along the outer edge of the trim. If you're worried that this may mar your paint, you can usually get the job done without this step. Working at the upper corner, use the various pry tools to dislodge the corner of the trim so it can be grasped with pliers. Start pulling the trim up and out of the channel. Clean up the glass and the paint edge using the non-marring chisels and pry tools and any cleaner that you choose. Once you have the trim fully removed, clean out the mounting channel with compressed air or a vacuum. Once the glass and channel are clean, we're ready to install the new trim. Just as with the removal, We'll start at the upper corner. Lubricate the channel and the trim with glass cleaner. Here we're using the Sonex glass cleaner as we found it lubricates quite well. Note that the trim has a groove or channel that fits around the edge of the glass. Starting at the corner, fit the lower inner edge of the trim down into the channel and under the glass. Push down the outer edge of the trim so it fully seats down into the mounting channel. Lift the rubber rain gutter end piece over the new windshield trim at the corner. Once the corner is set, continue pushing the upper section of the trim down and over the edge of the glass, then down along the outer edge. Leave the side pieces free so that they can be inserted down under the cowl trim. Lubricate the trim and the glass and insert the end of the trim onto the glass edge and under the rubber or plastic seals and guides. Push the side trim section fully downward and install it along the sides of the glass.
Use the non-marring chisels or pry tools to properly position the various rubber or plastic seals around the trim piece. The lower rubber seal on this vehicle is already hard and cracked, making it difficult to work with. This piece should be replaced as well. Thanks for watching our do-it-yourself video. You can order your replacement windshield trim in our online store at bavauto.com or give our advisors a call at 800-535-2002 for additional assistance or to place your order. If you've liked this video, please hit your like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Now we're off to produce another BMW or Mini DIY video.